Hello and welcome to another UK EDC video review. Sunny Devon in England and it's a typical January's day, it's throwing it down there, it's horrible, so we're doing an inside review. What I've got here is Jay's contacted me from Shui UK. Um, this is a site he's got in the um, UK via Amazon and I'll put up links at the end of this and in the description as well where you can get these from. I'll tell you the price to it as well because you might be quite staggered. This is like an EDC utility bag, utility pouch, designed to unclip and fit in the rings of your belt like so, so you can carry it on your hip. Uh, maybe I'll put it on in a minute just to show you. Uh, it's got the molly straps on the back so you can put it on a rucksack should you wish to do so. A little loop at the top so you can put a bit of rope through it or a carabiner which they supply, which is inside. So we'll just look at the outside first. So you've got one kind of like locking area there and that's designed to put a phone in. So my phone of choice is an iPhone 6S at the moment and that fits in there quite nicely. And this retaining clip Cinches down, and I'm quite confident that ain't going to fall out. So I'd be quite happy wearing that on my waist, uh, knowing that's not going to fall out on the iPhone. So, also got a long, thin pocket there. So, my pen of choice, my EDC pen of choice, is a Fisher Space Pen Capomatic. It's not the space pen that comes in half, that's not actually a Capomatic. I think they're at 16 quid. So, again, you could carry that in there, and that would be quite safe. Or, as an alternative, if you didn't want to particularly carry a pen, you could maybe get a this is a 4.7's Prion flashlight. And again, that could fit on the outside nicely, should you prefer to carry that. So, let's have a look on the inside. We've got two chambers here, or two compartments, both opening by cross section and zips. And inside, you have like a little netted area there, as a separator, and a big main pocket. And on the back here, we have another separated pocket and the main pocket there. And that's the carabiner you get with it. Um, you could just clip that on the back and dangle it off should you wish to. So let's just see what we can get in there as a matter of a matter of interest as we've got it here. So one item I do like to carry with me every day, I either slip this in my pocket or my man bag or on holiday. It's just like a very small basic first aid kit, a few plasters, a bit of um, liquid skin, some sterile wipes, a couple of pills in there. So you could get that one in there quite nicely. Um, another thing I like to carry with me every day is a bandana. I don't wear them in my pocket because I find it bokes out, but I always keep one in my bag. They say you should always carry these, obviously a thousand and one uses, and one of the big ones is if it's got some water, you can dunk it in water, if you're in smoke, you can actually breathe through the bandana, obviously also use it for first aid, etc. So let's just put that in there as well, just to give you an idea of what you can actually get in here. I'm just throwing this in, obviously I'm not packing it in too precisionally. Um, another item I like to carry, Field notes. I have to make notes about what I'm going to do in these videos and things I'd like to review, so I always like to keep that handy. I know we're in the digital age with my iPhone, I can make notes on there, but sometimes it's good to jot things down on a piece of paper. What else do I like to carry? This is one really, really useful bit of kit from the guys at Polymath, Sam and Luke. Um, this is the UK SC version 2. Um, I have reviewed this. Have a little look through my channel and you'll find that. I'll put a link up for this actually so you guys know where to buy that from. So that can squeeze in the back pretty nicely there. And should you wish to carry a knife on you, this is probably a bit big, this is my backup Bushcraft knife, um, but that will fit in there quite nicely too, or if you want to go legal, which you should do of course. I've got my CRKT Journey here, lovely little knife that is, only about 15 quid from Henny as well. So you can squeeze that in there, he says, struggling with that little flap. Again, I'm rushing this rather than taking my time. Um, a torch, always a good idea. This is a little Phoenix. This is the version E11, which I got from John. I'll put a link up for that one as well, so you guys know where to buy all these things from that I got. Uh, let's just try that one in the front. So we've got quite a few items in there at the moment. What we'll do is we'll close them up, like so. appreciate if I was to pack this out probably it'll be a little bit neater and a little bit quicker. So you've got a lot of EDC items in there. Saves you carrying around a whacking little big man bag or a haversack and uh, I suppose you could use your carabiner around there and dangle it off or just to give you a quick demo I'll actually feed this through here just so you can see what it's like on. That's all popped on. So there you go. 
that's not actually too much bulk there. So if you have got a trouser with not very many pockets in there, or some of those high rise pockets where you can get something on, you could put that on there. A little bit obtrusive, but you've got to think what you're actually carrying there and how much stuff you can actually get in there. Of course, the less stuff you put in there, the more slimline it will be, or you can pack it out a lot better. Now, the price, you're probably wondering of this. Guess, nine pound. Nine pound for this little pouch. I think that's pretty damn good. Compare that to a, I think it's a Max Peditions run at about 20 quid. So, not too bad. So if you want to buy this, I'll put a link up for you. You can get it from Amazon. If you're a Prime member, of course, it's free delivery. So for nine quid, you can get this with the carabiner as well from J at Shui UK. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to me to review anything, please get in contact with me. And of course, I'll be happy to do so. Please like this video. Please leave me a comment. Links below to everything that we've done today. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Goodbye.